All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about Fidelity's ETF, MSCI Healthcare Index ETF, ticker symbol FHLC. I think this has a lot to offer, and it's definitely a good review, so stick around. So FHLC, what it does is it tracks MSCI USA IMI Healthcare Index. It invests at least 80% of its assets within this underlying index. So let's look at the top holdings. FNCL asset classification sector is health and is passively managed. When we look at the composition of this, you have a total of 368 companies within this ETF. The top 10 though make up almost 49%. These companies are Eli Lilly & Co. at 9.89%, United Health Group at 7.47%, Johnson & Johnson at 6%, Merck at 5%, Abbey at 5%, Thermo at 3.5%, and then the list goes on. As you can see, the equities in North America at 99%. The market capitalization is about 70%, adding the large and the giant together, while the mid cap is 18%, and then you have like 8 or 9% allocated to small and micro. But when you look at the style map, we have a mix of value and growth in the large cap, meaning that these companies own over $100 billion in assets. Your industry exposure, pharmaceuticals is 28%, healthcare services is 20%, Healthcare equipment and, and supplies is 19%, your biotechnology at 8, 18%, and your life science and tools at 11%. Symbol FHLC, distribution and expenses, we can see that the yield is 1.32%, whereas the expense ratio to own this ETF only costs 0.08%, so very low there. Ratings and analysis, we can see that four stars out of five, and over the 10 years, still four stars. So it has a good track record, efficiency, tradability, and fit all at the top of the list. And the short, midterm, and long-term sentiment so far are all strong. Looking at the hypothetical growth of $10,000 from 2013, you would have tripled your money from $10,000 all the way up to $30,000. So over 10 years, this has been a very good investment. The life of it, you're averaging about 11.8%. So over 10 years, averaging 11%, you went from $10,000 to $30,000. So that's an excellent investment. That's good ROI on that. Looking at the last year, it's having a better year than most at 14.66%. Now, I just wanted to show you the comparisons. This is Fidelity's ETF MSCI Healthcare that it offers, FHLC. You can see it's passively managed, but the 0.08 expense ratio is second to none compared to Vanguard's VHT at 0.1%. The iShares U.S. Healthcare ETF IYH at 0.4%, XLV at 0.09%, and then RSPH at 0.4%. So Fidelity is offering you the lowest fees if you're interested in getting in a healthcare sector ETF. Looking under the key statistics, FHCL is a ETF. It's passively managed. It's not leveraged. It is not inversed. It is sponsored by the Fidelity Management Research Company, LLC. What I really want to show you is the portfolio fundamentals. FHLC, you can see 0.08% compared to the sector median at 0.5%, so very competitive. The expense ratio at 0.0% compared to 0.51%, so less fees eating at your overall returns. The dividend yield is lower in FHLC at 1.3%, but when you factor in the expense ratio, it definitely makes a difference from 1.3% compared to that 1.61%. Within the Fidelity website, you can look at the chart so we can break down this. Let's look at the max of it. If you were to invest in this ETF over the long term, 2013 went from $25 all the way up to about $70. As you can see, this held up pretty well even during COVID. From COVID, went from $50 all the way down to $35. But that was a short stint. That was only a month or two long, dollar cost average into it, and it is shown to be bullish over the long term. So there definitely is some more growth potential in this ETF, but as you can see, it is up year to date, has big gains just from $64 up to 70. Over one year, just 12 months, 57 up to 70. And it's just consistently proven to be bullish over time. So definitely a strong track record performance. But if you're gonna invest in this, I would definitely recommend dollar cost averaging because you are buying at the highs. So you wanna, you know, if it pulls back, hopefully you can get some good buying opportunities. All right, so let's do a quick summary of all of this. So Fidelity MSCI Healthcare Index ETF FHLC. We can see that 
the opening price is $69. The expense ratio is around 0.08%. We had the chart, we reviewed that. The analyst ratings are very strong, four out of five stars over a 10 year track record. The top 10 holdings, which you can see right here with the Eli, Union Health, Johnson & Johnson, Merck, and Abbey. The profile, we know it seeks 80% of its assets in the underlying security. Top three holdings is LLY, United Health, and Johnson & Johnson. We are United States bound. Large cap is 73%. This is all in healthcare, 99.4%. The life of the fund is 11.78%. All right, guys, this is my channel, Trading Simplified. I just wanted to show you the playlist I have. It's Fidelity specific. It shows you any Fidelity Index Funds and ETFs. This is what it's labeled, Fidelity Index Funds ETFs under my channel, Trading Simplified. These are my videos that I have for it so far. I have Energy Index ETF. I have the FSPGX, which is the large cap growth yeah, index fund. I have the Fidelity Small Cap Index Fund, FSSNX. How to, how to change your dividends and capital gain distributions through Fidelity Investments. Uh, real estate index fund FSRNX, the semiconductors, which have been on a tear for 2024 FSELX, how to set up automatic investments. If you're interested, it just shows you how to do that. And then the total market index fund through fidelity with zero expense ratio FCROX. So definitely feel free to check these out. And I also have the financial index ETF as well. Check these out. I'm making a dedicated playlist just to fidelity and all that it offers because they offer a ton and i just want to make sure all the viewers can see what they have